and there was a deliberate gap between the back of the LMP2s and the start of the GT Pro, so they've come through Tete Rouge a little later, but a cracking run now for Harry Tinknell on Nicky Team, and they almost touch door mirrors as they break for the first chicane, the Forza Motorsport chicane, so Nicky Team, if he didn't know he was in a motor race already, he sure does now and already up to uh, third position, the Corvette as well, so retaining that third place, in fact, uh, the Rockefeller Garcia Magnussen uh, Corvette, it's Garcia who took the race start, again Harry Tinknell has a good old look, and the 66 was on the move into the second chicane as well, and Oli Pla might have bagged the position on David A. Regan, we'll check them through the split at the end of the Molsan. Antonio Garcia putting a lot of pressure on Harry now, so this is fantastic. And look who's behind them. That would be Nick Tandy, who's just sitting there going, come on, chaps, take each other out, and then I'll take the lead. People don't, don't like balance of performance, but how about this, folks? We've got an Aston, a Ford, a Corvette, a Porsche, and a BMW in the top five, and it's absolutely together then for second position. Briefly, the Corvette was ahead. It had the inside line for the run into Indianapolis. However, the Ford managed to fend Antonio Garcia off and Tignall <laughs> in that red and white. 1967 tribute Ooh. livery is still in second position. There were side by side cars further back though, and that's the highest of the BMWs. Antonio Felix da Costa, the Portuguese, being put under pressure from Kevin Estra. And did Estra get through? No, he didn't. He dropped so far off the track that he had to back out of it to try and get back to the pavement. But now Estra is going to be in trouble because Dirk Mueller's right behind him. And the Toyotas starting to oh, open up a, a fair bit of gap between them. So that's Conway wasting no time to open up a three and a half second lead on the first lap to Sebastian Buemi in second. Gustavo Menezes in the yellow-fronted Rebellion with the kind of white body on that car uh, is in third position. Nicky team is opening up a gap of a second. It might be even more by the end of this lap. Tonio Garcia, though, says to Harry Tignall, but if you're not going to chase the Aston, then I'm going to have a go. And overtook the uh, 1967 Tribute car. Eight minutes in, we're on to lap three, and Mike Conway powering down the Molsan straight, leading Sebastian Buemi, the car you can hear in the background, by very nearly five seconds. Oh. 